Wow! Power Rangers Lost Galaxy! Cool another Red Ranger! Hey there toy enthusiasts! Welcome back to Toys That Made Us Happy! Today we have a special treat for all you Power Rangers fans out there, we are going to review these Power Rangers Lost Galaxy Lightning Collection from Hasbro. I have just gotten Yellow and Pink Ranger last month, as well as the Galaxy Megazord. Furthermore, I had two different Red Rangers in different box, one is twin pack with the Psycho Red Ranger, and the other is just individual pack like this. So, let's us compare the difference for these two Red Rangers. Well, before we begin, I would like to encourage everyone to subscribe my channel, as I will do a lots of review on my collections and future hauls as well. Thank you for your time to watch my other videos, I am really appreciated and please comment your thoughts, so that I could keep in touch with everyone. Now, let's review them together. Let's start with the twin pack, each figure comes with his own accessories. This pack reminds us of the episode 30 in the Power Rangers Lost Galaxy called to the 10th power, where Leo, the Red Ranger, was training his martial arts, and then there was a boy squatting under tree, sobbing with tears. As Leo was the caring person, he approached to that boy to cheer him up. However, without realizing, that boy was the Red Psycho Ranger in disguise. Okay, let's review the Red Psycho Ranger. The Psycho Red's helmet is amazing as it reassembles in the show, although the paint job is quite decent, but the molding of its detail is there and spot on. Sadly, his arms unable close up his waist. Despite of the minus, I'm glad that his articulation is smooth and poseable without hassle. Check out his sword, I love the gradient paint from black to white, which gives this figure slashing effects. The handle is great with the spiral hook, this sword is sculpt similar to the show. Let's review Leo, the Red Ranger. Wow, his face sculpt is amazing. The articulation is great, and his arms has the same issues as the Red Psycho Ranger. The paint job is also decent and look, there is a miss paint on his body. Next is the Quasar Saber. It's look awesome with its detailing. Wow, his helmet is spot on. I'm not sure if it is exactly as the show, but it is looks great. All right then, let's proceed.
Next is the Red Ranger from the other box. He comes with the two interchangeable hands, small quasar saber for the holster, quasar launcher and the blasting effects. Sadly, this box does not come with the quasar saber like the other Red Ranger that we review earlier on. For those might not familiar with Leo, he was a stowaway aboard the Terra Venture and dared to follow his older brother, Mike, to find a new world. Against his brother's wishes, he followed him, Maya, and Kendricks through the portal to Miranoi. Wanting to help save Maya's home, he largely witnessed the discovery of the Quasar Sabres by accident. Mike originally drew the red Quasar Saber, but passed it on to Leo. Before falling to his apparent death at the bottom of a crevice, this allowed Leo to morph into the Red Galaxy Ranger. Let's see his head sculpt. While this one is different than the other Red Ranger face sculpt, you see his hair sculpt and other facial effect into it. The articulation is same as the previous review. Now, let's compare him with his other Red Ranger side by side. By comparing them, I feel on my left hand side, is much better than the other one, as it looks almost the same as the show, while the other one looks a bit cartoonish. What do you think? Please comment them below. This is the Quasar Launcher. The cannon can easily remove from the handle and able to put back together. Unfortunately, this red line is actually a sticker and not paint. If you want to collect this figure, be sure to give an extra care of this Quasar Launcher, as the sticker might peel off by itself. Let's move on. This is Kai, a blue ranger. He comes with Quasar Saber, small Quasar Saber for holster, Trans Dagger, Cosmo Claw, two swappable hands and slashing effects. For those might not familiar with Kai, he was straight-laced, sensible and ambitious, Kai is the classic overachiever. Having been brought up in a strict military family, he always does things by the book and likes everything in its place. His orderly world is turned upside down when he becomes a Power Ranger, and he must learn that sometimes rules are meant to be broken when it comes to saving the universe. He is apparently a good friend of Kendrick's Morgan. His fighting style consists of grappling moves and throws, presumably taught by the military. Let's see his head sculpt. Wow! His face looks almost the same as the show, his paint job is also decent, and the articulation is not much different than the others. Check out his trans dagger, Cosmo Claw, it is just the minor paint, and it would better if the handle is painted in black. About his helmet, the sculpt is great with awesome details. The Quasar Saber looks fascinating too. Okay, let's move on.
This is Damon, a Green Ranger. He comes with Quasar Saber, small Quasar Saber for holster, trans dagger, trans blaster, two swappable hands and shooting effects. For those who might not familiar with Damon, he was a senior mechanic on the Astro Mega ship, which was used by the Power Rangers in space, before Kai Chen took the ship to Miranoi to save Mike Corbett and the future Galaxy Rangers, Kendrix, Leo and Maya. He was smart guy and loved to repair any machineries such as cars, spaceships and other machines. Let's see his head sculpt. Wow, his face looks almost the same as the show. His paint job is also decent, and the articulation is not much different than the others. Check out his trans dagger, trans blaster. It is just the minor paint, and it would better if the handle is painted in black. About his helmet, the sculpt is great with awesome details. The Quasar Saber looks fascinating too. Okay, let's move on. This is Magna Defender. He comes with Magna Sword with Holder, Magna Blaster, two swappable hands and shooting effects. For those who might not familiar with Magna Defender, he was a lone warrior and the sworn archenemy of Scorpius and Trakina. He was a major anti-hero in Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. After sacrificing his life, ending the destruction he caused on Terra Venture, he leaves his legacy to Mike Corbett. Leo's brother, becoming the new Magna Defender. Now, let's take a good look on this figure. Wow, this figure is outstanding. The helmet looks great and almost alike in the show. His cape is amazing and flexible, although it is made of soft plastic. Well, unfortunately, it does not come with Mike Corbett head sculpt which that would be better. Anyway, let's proceed with the next one. This is Maya, a yellow ranger. 
She comes with the two interchangeable hands, small quasar saber for the holster, quasar launcher and the blasting effects. Again, she did not have the quasar saber like the blue and green ranger. Her accessories are similar to red ranger individual box. For those who might not familiar with Maya, she was a tribes girl from the jungle planet Miranoi in Galaxy Yellow of the Galaxy Rangers. Her planet was attacked by Furio, Scorpius's general, in an attempt to gain possession of the Sabres. Maya fled from her village with the rest of her people perused by Stingwingers. She was eventually chased through a portal that led her to Earth's moon, where she encountered Kai Chan, Kendrix Morgan, Mike and Leo Corbett, citizens of the space colony Terra Venture. And the rest is history. Let's see her face sculpt. Wow. Her face is amazing. I liked her hair texture that looks like a real hair. For new female figure, the bonus point is that she has two ball joints at her elbows. That's a splendid. Which means more variation of the poses for this figure. This is the Quasar Launcher, unfortunately. This yellow line is actually a sticker and not paint, same as the Red Ranger. If you want to collect this figure, be sure to give an extra care of this Quasar Launcher, as the sticker might peel off by itself. helmet is amazing as well. There's some texture marks at her side of the helmet. Okay, let's move on. This is Kendrix, a pink ranger. She comes with Quasar Saber, small Quasar Saber for holster, trans dagger, beta bow, two swappable hands and slashing effects. For those who might not familiar with Kendrix, she was introduced as a science officer aboard the space station Terra Venture. She was one of the six people to travel through a spatial rift to Miranoi in the first episode, and she drew a Quasar Saber that allowed her to transform into the pink galaxy ranger. Highly intelligent and analytical by nature, Kendrix is interested in all things scientific. She always has a logical explanation for everything, which sometimes prevents her from seeing the wonder around her. Her blossoming friendship with free-spirited Leo teaches her to have a more fun-loving and spontaneous side. Now, let's see her face sculpt. Wow! Her face is amazing. Her hair sculpt looks real. By the way, her spectacle can be removed from her head sculpt. Oops, it flew away. And there it is. Articulation wise, she can move freely excerpt her thigh due to her skirt. Oops again. Her hand snapped out, but no need to fret. It can put back together as good as new. She indeed has same elbow ball joints as Maya.
Her helmet is amazing as well. There's some texture marks at her side of the helmet. Check out her trans dagger, beta bow. It is just the minor paint and again. It would better if the handle is painted in black. Anyway, let's move on. This is the Galaxy Megazord. This is how the box art looks like. It's like a VHS tape box which people from early 90s would have known this tape. For those who love the box art design and prefer to open the box without damaging it, here is the tips. Avoid peeling the strip as this might damage the box, but instead, cut through the three sealed tapes. And voila, you have opened the box nicely. The Megazord is still wrapped with tracing paper like a wrapping sandwich. Okay, let's tidy up. And there is the Megazord. It comes with the sword and the wings. Let's take a look at this Megazord. It's just a simple paint job, and it has five points of articulation. The sword has two paints, handle in gold and blade in sliver. The texture marks are amazing, although the paint job could have been better. Anyway, let's proceed. In conclusion, all these figures including Galaxy Megazord, are fantastic addition to any action figure collection, although there is some hip cups on its detail. But it is great to collect them and showcase to your shelves. This makes it a must-have for fans of the character and the Lightning Collection line. Don't miss out on these amazing figures. That's it for today's review, folks. If you are first time watch on my channel, Please subscribe and press the bell for more awesome toy reviews. And also if you enjoyed this video, 
Don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to Toys That Made Us Happy for more awesome toy reviews, unboxings, and assembly guides as well. Until next time, and remember, keep collecting and stay happy. Goodbye.